What is up? Oh my gosh. What happened here? Jeez. We got a mess. Anyway, happy 4th of July. Today we're going to take this and I'm going to show you the superest, easiest, wayest to make us this into a American flag. I know American flag can be intimidating for a lot of people. You got the stars and the stripes and you got to figure out the measurements and ah, oh, baloney. Who cares about all that? Listen, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. You can do it in one, one day. And this is a very special episode because I want to thank all of you who entered to win this tumbler right here from this video. And Paisley is going to be so happy to whoever wins this. At the end of this video, we will see who won this beauty. The force will be with you when you drink from this. I guarantee it. All right, so American flag is red, white, and blue. But looky here, it's already white, so that part's done. So let's start with that one. And along the way on this, I'm going to give you a couple different options. You can choose whichever way you want. They're all simple. Step number one is to make your lines. What I like to do with this is just take my tape and rip the edges off all the way down. And then turn it over, get off my finger, and do the other side all the way down. Now you can do, you can try to be as careful and keep this portion semi sort of evil, 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 no, even. I don't know why you'd want to make it evil. That's crazy. So you've got both your edges torn. Now you're going to want to try to tear it straight down the middle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is distressed. I like distressed because it's grungy and I like that it looks cool and it's easy to cover up if you screw up. Now you've got your two pieces in half. Now I will mention this is inch and a half tape. And now you have two stripes. And if you notice, I have two more sitting back here already done. If you don't like the distress and you're a neat freak and you want to make it crisp. I'm just kidding about the neat freak part. You want to make them sharp line, get three quarter inch tape. What you do, if you'll notice, it is almost exactly the same as what we made. Except for these are distressed, of course. So what you do is you take, cut it off. Nice and straight edged, you know, put it on your cup and line it up. Oh, wait, you want to know how to line it up? Okay, I'll show you. The easiest way to line this up is to take your pencil on the bottom and make a star. I mean, it's an American flag, isn't it? It doesn't have to be perfect. And there is your rough measurements. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is good enough. Now keep moving forward. Now, I know that I want my stars about three inches because it's an eight inch cup and I don't want to go halfway. I don't want 50-50. I want a little more red and white than the blue section. I don't know why. That just makes sense to me. I don't know. There's more of the red and white than the flag, than the, than the stars in blue. So that's what I'm doing. All right. My stripes are my distressed stripe, stripage, whatever, is on. At the bottom, I'll show you what I did. I just crossed it and then cut it off. Don't worry about all this. You can clean it off, wipe it off, but it doesn't matter. It's distressed. Well, mine is. You don't have to make it distressed. Now I have my section to put my stars. If you don't have a vinyl plotter, I use a Cricut. If you don't have that, you can use this right here, which is everybody knows the old school good for you Boy, good boy stickers, attaboys, good girl, Avery stickers. I have a cricket, so I'm going to use it. Okay, so now we're going to spray our fade. We're going to do red on the bottom. This is apple red. I know I covered it up. It's got glitter on it. I made a, used it as a prop. And then we have brilliant blue for the top. So you're just going to spray and angle it and then fade it with this one. I'll show you. Let's go see.
beautiful. Now we'll set this over here to dry and we'll come back and take the tape off. All right, here's what we got. I'm gonna take a scotch Bright pad and scuff it up a little bit because I, I, I had glossy, I didn't have matte. I would rather have matte. So you gotta rough it up so it won't be so slicky. And then we'll take these boogers off. Probably scuff it up some more with some scotch Bright. It's distressed, make it look cool. All right, let's go. Really get some aggression out on that thing. Oh, one th one thing I wanted to say. Um, before you start taking all the stars and stripes off, i uh, just distressing a little bit here. I get a little carried away. But before you take all your stars and stripes off, you could do something else and add a layer of glitter there if you wanted to. I'm not, but that's another option for you. All right, I'm just going to finish this. Let's go. This is the fun part because it doesn't even matter how it looks. You just peel off, do a little scuff. So now comes the fun part. Just pick which kind of brown you want. And I'm going to use my handy dandy airbrush. Spray it on. Spritz it with the old rubbing alcohol. And then just... Pull it, streak it. I don't know. I'm just going to play with it till I'm happy. Till I want it to look as distressed and distressed. Distress? Hmm. It's a funny word. Till I'm happy with it. Just play with it till you're happy. Or don't do anything. It's up to you. Listen, this is a free country and you're free to do your art the way you want to and to screw it up and to just free yourself so you don't have to worry about it being perfect. That's what is called a distressed flag for a reason and it's fun and it's easy so keep it that way let's go Good boy, good boy, good boy. Experiment. Try whatever technique you think will look cool. Use your imagination. I like my rims darker. It just kind of helps frame it in. All right, I got it where I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so dirty. Where I'm happy with the distressed. Uh, I want to point out a few things. Any way you can think of to put paint on and take it off is all fair game. For, like I got a little too dark, so I just, squirted some of this on this and just kind of rubbed some spots and then I noticed my whites are all brown and there's no contrast so what I did is I rubbed on this spot and what I wanted to show you before we go to the big reveal is this pencil right here if you remember this pencil oh look at the end from this video right here where I did the Mustang uh, the blue manly tumbler take I took this and kind of rubbed out some of the middle parts. It's really good at taking off alcohol ink and whatnot. And so I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to show it to you. And these eraser pencils are really rad. There's a link in the description below if you want to go get one. So let's reveal.
Paisley, come on. It's time to see who the winner is. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, well, uh, <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> that turned out sick. Look at that. So, I oh, it's got so much interest in things everywhere you look. God bless America. Y'all have a good 4th of July today. And I know what you all waited for was who's going to win this. From the last video, the drawing, the raffle's done. It's 7 o'clock in the morning on the 4th of July. I'm going to go ahead. I put everybody's name right here if you look real closely. You can see your name in here if you entered for the $5 raffle. Thank you everybody who contributed, who entered to help Paisley out. My mouse ain't working that good. There we go. It's moving along. And if you entered more than once, your name, you see a couple of these names are the same together. Your name is in there as many times as you entered. So you got more chances. That one says it's spelled wrong. It don't even know. All right, so I got everybody's name in. You see um, they're all grouped together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this shuffle button right here. There you go. They're all shuffled, and we're going to do it. Let's just go right into it. Yep, hold on. I got to get Paisley. Hang on. All right, I got Paisley. She said, she said why are you wake me up so early? Oh, my goodness. Come on, Paisley. Let's see who the winner is. You ready? Press this button. Oh, don't lick my face. Let's go, Paisley. Yes. Let's see who the winner is. Who is it? Who is it, Paisley? Who is it? Who is it? Leslie LeBlanc, congratulations. You won this. You did it. Wait, you can't even see the screen. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Awesome. And you guys were so generous that I'm going to give away this one too. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this name because you won. Congratulations. That name is gone. We're going to spin it again. You want to spin it again, Paisley? Look at the camera. It's right there. Okay. Paisley says yes. She's so excited. She has she has to wake up. We're going again. This is going to be for the America Star Spangled, whatchamacallit. And the winner is Nicole Thornburg. Congratulations. You won that one. So thank you to everybody who entered. So Paisley, say goodbye. Say thanks for watching my video. Thanks for paying for my back surgery and helping us out. I still got a little bit to go. Hey, you guys, if you like doing these raffles to win these cups, you got a chance to win it for five dollars. Uh, I had a I had a subscriber say that they wanted to keep doing that. So let me know if that's something you're interested in, and I'll just raffle. Uh, and I'll just raffle some more cups off if you guys like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in on the part. Hey, Yoda is so happy for you. Yes, okay. All right, thanks. See you on the next one.